Another thing it has here is a sticker. This sticker says, I am a smart typewriter. See what I can do. Insert paper, hold down code key while depressing the Q key. So, yeah, not just a put in the paper and let it run type of typewriter. It can do a thing or two. Code keys right here. Pretty basic keyboard setup with a couple of extra keys like a word eraser, uh, margin buttons, reverse index button, relocate, correct. So it's like a keyboard plus <laughs> in terms of here, in terms of uh, functions. Across the top here, it looks like we have some functional keys like memory, store recall, bold, page end, auto half space, auto return, auto center, auto word, auto all. I don't know what any of this is. Did not come with the manual. I'm gonna open this up here. And we have the area where you insert the paper. Just taking a quick look, everything looks to be in place. Again, it doesn't look like you got any heavy damage from being put in the, in the trash. But before I do things, just a quick spray. Give this a little bit of a cleanup. It looks like at some point someone tried to peel off this sticker, which is unfortunate because it is coming up on one corner. They probably decided, ah, I'll just leave it sit. And they didn't do that, which I appreciate. Oh, get out of here, flies. A time of year where my garage is still attracting insects. Which is why I have not been out here doing a lot of retro PC garage or anything for that much. Um, Been just pretty busy with other things lately, to be honest. One of those things was getting married, believe it or not, as you can see. So if you're wondering where uh, Mike's been with Retro PC, <laughs> been doing that. So that was pretty fun. This thing is really clean. Just, I mean, a little grime on the keys, but man, impressively clean. Open this up here quick. Rolls fine. Right, it seems to work. Just want to get some of these keys a little bit better. There we go. All right. The only thing I have to do is throw some paper in this thing and just kind of see what it does. So we have a few sheets of paper, but before we throw it in, I want to make sure, of course, it turns on. So let me get to my plug in here. And let's just see what happens. Of course, that does mean I need to find <laughs> the power key. And it just turned right on. So let's take a sheet of paper here. And uh, there's on the top here looks to be some margin indicators of where to put your sheet. And I think I'm doing this right. It's coming up and around, but it isn't really. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Paper is in. Let's see if we can type something. Huh. It typed it. I mean, the ink is bad. There is, the ribbon obviously needs to be replaced, but really faintly here, let me zoom in. That is we the people. <laughs> so it works. Um, let's return. Did that just fine? All right. So 
some sort of a beep just happened. I don't know what that means. But now let's see. So what I wrote there was, this is retro PC. You can barely see it. But if I hit correct, it seems to go back and erase. Let me bring that up a little bit. And it totally did. So this is now, instead of retro, R-E-T-R. -R. It corrected it. Hit return again here. Um, this is crazy. So there's also word eraser. Let's try that. So let's do the same sentence. This is retro. I see it there. I know you can't. I can barely see it myself. But if I hit word correct, holy crap. Bring that up. It took out retro. I can still see it a little faintly. But I mean the eraser ribbon or however it's doing it is working and whiting out as needed. So that is awesome. Um, one thing it told us to do was, let me back out a little bit here. One thing it said here, of course, on the stickers, I am a smart typer. See what I can do. Insert paper, hold down code key while depressing the Q key. So I'm going to hold down the code key and press the Q key. Oh, now the ink's looking great. All right. What it says is, hello, I'd like to demonstrate some of my most popular features for you. Please type in your name followed by the return key. We'll just say our name is RetroPC. So what it, what it says is, the first feature I'd like to show you, Retro PC, <laughs> is the spell right 50,000 word dictionary. Type in a misspelled word and I'll beep when the error is made. Remember, press the return key to go on to the next feature. Let's type in a misspelled word. It beeped. It let me know, hey, that's totally wrong. But that's it. It just tells you it's wrong. You have to fix it. It won't fix it for you. So let's hit enter and go to the next feature. next is the next feature I'd like to show you retro PC is correction I can remember up to a full line of characters press the correct key to see me correct automatically remember press the return key to go on to the next feature so we're coming on to the end of the page here so all right this is cool Found it, I'll hit correct. So this is coup. <laughs> Next feature.
I can also erase an entire word with a single keystroke. I missed a couple of my paper was off. Press the word eraser key once for each word you want me to erase on the line. Press ret return to continue. Okay. So, type in cool. Again, this is something we tried. Word eraser. Whoa, it's going crazy. I'll hit enter. We'll go to the next thing. Now it says, I can automatically center a title between the margins. Type the name of your favorite movie star and I'll center it for you. Press the return key when you're done. Um, favorite movie star. Let's just do... Totally did it, sort of. So there's my Harrison Ford centered, which it's not really centered, but I think that's because I don't have the paper very well centered. I'm about this far off, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Um, the next feature, I can type in a bold print for emphasis. Type in a few words and I'll show you how nice it looks. Okay. This is bold, and it is completely bolden. I mean, it's not lying to us. last two lines because it ran out of paper but the last thing it says is try to get this on camera here I have many other features such as 6,000 character memory to store often used phrase or repetitive letters electronically electronic end of page warning alerts you when you are one inch from the bottom of your paper well it didn't do that for us keyboard two for typing foreign characters such as and it's got some foreign ones here this is where things start to get a little off center because the paper ran out I can even make corrections on another line and then automatically return to the current line. Thanks for getting to mo know me, Retro PC. And it says some other things here, uh, which we missed, but that's fine. But I mean, that type looks great once it kicked in and got that ribbon going. I mean, for sitting in storage for that long, that's incredible. That is the DeVille 125 in a nutshell. Uh, this thing works like the day it was new. Um, it looks like it did the day it was new. Again, I don't think it got a lot of use. And it shows that the keys look virtually untouched, just a little grimy from storage. But I mean, this thing's in mint condition. And I'm so glad I was able to save it from the landfill because it definitely does not deserve to be there. This has usability. This has collectability for those who collect these types of things. I certainly don't. Um, I don't have plans to hang on to this, but I do plan to put it on the market to give it to someone who would want something like this and price it fairly so it uh, can get into the hands of someone who would want something like this. Um, I can then take those profits and get something that better reflects um, what I collect and hopefully give you something new to show on this channel. 
So yeah, I'm just so glad I got to save, save this and hopefully get it in the hands of someone who can appreciate it. It's a heck of a nice machine and it works flawlessly. So thank you so much for watching and checking out this electronic typewriter with me from Smith Corona. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.